Okay, Omar. The next snack is uh, chicken in it. That's all I know. What else chicken. are we doing? We have got a chicken, coconut, and almond bowl. And we're going to serve those with some spicy guacamole. Okay. All right. Really great, quick. I feel like we need spicy guacamole. We need to start doing a little <laughs> dance, something like that. These are great. What you should do is, again, if you're on the go, a man like yourself who's always on the go. An international man of mystery who is Absolutely. very rarely in one place at one time. Is you can make them up. Right. Stick them in the fridge overnight. Okay. And then take them with you. You know, serve it with a guacamole. You've got a really good, high, lean protein uh, snack. Okay, so in here, we've got our, our minced chicken. Okay. Okay, we've got uh, some coriander leaves, which I've just roughly chopped. Okay. Don't forget to chop the stalks and put them in there. You know, there's so much flavour in the okay. stalks of coriander. Don't throw it away. Because people just cut them off and throw yeah, away. So much flavour in them. Um, some minced garlic. Yeah. Okay. And then, if you could put a pinch of the chilies. Okay, I must get the whole thing in there. <laughs> that was always a. And oh. half a teaspoon of of that wonderful smoked paprika. I, I actually really like um, chilies. Yes. I'm a big fan of them actually. Yes. I like what it's supposed to be. Do you like? So then it is. This is like a professional paprika. This is isn't? amazing paprika. Okay. Get your nostrils around that. It's so sweet. Ooh. It's lovely. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is nice, actually, really you know, nice. It's far better than that stuff that Granny used to have sitting over the cupboard. Well, it had been there for 40 years. What, in the, in the Sherwood <laughs> Spice Rack that <laughs> <Yeah>. never used? <laughs> how much have I put in here? Yeah. All right, all in there. Depending on how spicy you want it. I like a lot of spice, you know. Perfect. Right, right. So then we're going to put four tablespoons. This in here are ground almonds. Right. And desiccated coconut, OK? Completely unsweetened. OK. Right. Even the coconut theme in there? Absolutely. Well trained So four, four of those into that. Just level ones like that? Yep, perfect. One. Can't count to four. Two. <laughs> five. Oh no. Four. There we are. Perfect. And then, we, and then we're going to mix that with one egg yolk. Okay. Okay. Now get your hands in there. Is it? Yeah, come on. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hands in, give it a really good mix up. Right. So that the cuts on my fingers that chicken. It will possibly, this recipe, to begin with, it will possibly look a little bit dry. Okay. Okay. Keep working it, keep working yeah. it. You're not going to toughen the chicken that much. Okay. Okay. And it will come together okay. nicely. We'll just add a little bit of salt there. Right, well done, that is that all right? That is perfect. Give your hands a good wash. I will do. And then basically all we're going to do now, James, yeah. is we are going to start making these into balls. Okay. So I would suggest roughly half the size of a golf ball. Right, okay. You know? um, and again, you don't have to mould them, you know, we're not in a fine dining restaurant. Yeah. We're at home. If they're slightly misshapen, it really doesn't matter. Okay. There's no problem with misshapen balls. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not advocating that rock check them all, I'm just suggesting that there's not really those, those that do them, there's, no, there's no issue with them. So really, really simple is this, Okay. as you can see. So what we're doing is, we've just got them into a hot pan here. Okay, cook them with coconut oil again. Yeah, some coconut oil. Cool. One, because it's going to give that a consistent flavour. Yeah. Which, you know, we've got coconut inside, so let's flavour them on the outside okay. of it as well. And all we're going to do is we're going to brown you said about, Can I just say that? You've said about Michel, you've literally made Perfect balls. Yeah, I know. That's yeah, right. I know. <laughs> is, we're not a professional kitchen, we're not a professional chef, misshaped balls are fine. He's literally produced nine balls that are exactly the same in a professional manner. You should let me <laughs> make them and then we're going to see them in one big ball, a few small balls. Okay. So there, we can see. Okay. And what we're going to do with these is we're simply just going to cook them in that pan. I want to get a photo of these. Until yeah. we're nicely browned off, okay? Okay. Um, when they're nicely browned off on the outside, I would suggest for those at home, you know, because chicken can be very dangerous. Yeah. So we need to make sure it's cooked. I would suggest just popping them in the oven. Okay. About 180. Okay. Okay. Okay, Omar. So we're not going to do any blue pit style reveal, but here is the chicken, um, the chicken balls that you've created. They look awesome. Yeah, absolutely. So just to refresh quickly, we I sealed them in the pan been in the oven for about 10, 11 minutes. Straight out, we've got some guacamole that we're going to serve with them. Simply, one avocado, and 
peeled, we've stoned it, we've put it in a food processor with some lime juice, okay. some coriander and some dried chilies and that's it. Okay. I don't add any salt to mine. Okay. I like that unctuous. Yeah, unctuous, yeah, yeah, there it is again. It's yeah. avocado. So get stuck in, mate. Okay, let's try some of this. Mm. Really easy snack, isn't it? Like, again. <laughs> mate, it's so good. And the coconut is so um, good. We um mm. It's such a subtle yeah. coconut flavour, but yeah. I'm tasting garlic. Mm. Works really well, you can taste the yeah. lime yeah. in the avocado. Yeah, the ab yeah, that has got a nice little kick to it as well. Yeah. The chili coriander yeah, is really absolutely. nice. I've got to literally go have a break because I've got to eat all these. If you, uh, if you enjoyed that video from Omar, some of our tips, there's plenty more on my YouTube channel. There's plenty more on my website, gagebodyfire.com. But if you want to see more videos on here, you don't miss anything and you need to subscribe by clicking the button.